the waffle stitch. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are knitting up this yummy waffle stitch pattern. With knits and pearls, this stitch resembles one of our favorite breakfast treats. Oh wow, yarn really absorbs maple syrup, doesn't it? You are sure to love this easily memorable all-round stitch for your fashion and home decor knitting projects. If you'd like, you can knit up your waffle stitch with a border, the garter stitch. This example has two rows of knit stitch and two knit stitches on the side. Um, or you can just jump straight into the waffle stitch pattern itself. I have the written pattern for both versions located on my website at Studio Knit SF. I'll have a link in the description below. And I have so many great knit stitch patterns that you might want to also pin to your Pinterest board as well. So we begin with our beloved slip knot and we are casting on in multiples of three plus one. So we have three, 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 as many multiples of three as you'd like. And then it's plus one. So we just add one more stitch and we are ready for row one. And you'll see the pattern to the left here. And between the asterisks, that means we repeat. So we're starting with a knit one and then we bring the yarn around to the front because we are going to purl two. So that is purling two stitches. That's one right there. And that is two. So we bring our yarn to the back so that we can knit because we are repeating this pattern between the asterisks until we get to our very final stitch. So let's do it one more time knit one and we bring our yarn around to the front and now we purl two. Now we continue this pattern of knit one purl two all the way down the row until the very last stitch and looking at the pattern, you'll see that we end with one knit stitch. So on row two, we begin with our yarn in the front because we are purling that very first stitch, purl one, and then we bring the yarn to the back and we are going to knit two stitches. So that's knitting one, and knitting two. And just like row one, we are going to continue that pattern all the way down until the very final stitch. And here on our final stitch, we bring our yarn to the front because we are finishing up with one purl stitch, which is P1, that means purl one. Okay, super simple from here on out. Here is how it's shaping up. Oh, and if you think this is a fun knit stitch, please like up this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, row three is simply knit all. So that means we are knitting the knit stitch all the way down the entire row of row three. Super simple, all the way down the row. And now once we are at our row four, we are doing the purl stitch all the way down the row. And these knits and purls are what make up the texture of our waffle for our waffle knit pattern. All the way down the row. And we just continue these four rows, rows one through four, until your piece is the length you desire. And we're looking here at the front of our work. And now this is the back, or what's also called the wrong side. And it's similar, it's just the opposite <laughs> of what we did with our knits and pearls. Here is our front side, the right side again. And I hope you are inspired to knit up this really fun, waffle knit pattern. This is the place where you learn how to knit and totally fall in love with it. So please subscribe, like up this video, leave comments below, and I'll see you next time. <music>